All right, what's up, my old two nations? This is KL2. This is Nathan Kitty Kitty. And today we're going to be talking about a subject that's, you know, pretty close to both of our hearts, which is friendship. Now, for those of y'all who are, like, in their basement by themselves right now with, like, nobody to talk to, just know we're your friends. And we will be actually listening to the comments and looking out for the comments. So the reason that we want to do this segment is because like in past weeks and past days really, um, we kind of like had the run of it. Like, you know, friends needing help, friends uh, having issues, uh, you know, or just, you know, having good days. Like I haven't had a good Monday in so long, but I seem to have had two good Mondays consecutively <laughs> with her, of course. And uh, my... And for me, uh, I had, like, within that week, it was, like, a bad Thursday. Or, like, the rest of the days are just bad because of something to consecutively happen. Yeah, so, like, the re like, like I said, the reason I wanted to do this because I wanted, like, we wanted to talk about, like, you know, what it means to be a friend. So, like, you know, in my opinion, uh, a friend is another form of a family member, you know, like if somebody like you can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends. So like it's it to me like a way to get like the perfect family, which I mean, per being perfect is a concept that that that's a vlog for another time. That That's another thing. But with uh, being friends, I have a best friend and we go through each other's shit. And we go through each other's stuff and we go through it together and it's not that we're going to stop going through it or anything it's just things happen and certain things i can't get to her about or i can't deal with and certain things i can't deal with in a day or like i just don't tell her because they happen and i don't know what to say to her because i also know she will drive her butt down here and take care of it for me. I don't want her to do that. And that's another thing, like, don't be afraid to go that extra mile when it comes to your friends, all right? Because, like, it, like the world already is filled with, like, so much negativity. Sometimes the simplest things can help, especially when it comes to those people that are close to you that you consider a friend, that you consider a best friend. Just things like, you know, driving down to see how they are or, you know, buying them a snack. It's the smallest thing can keep them from doing something drastic because it shows that you care and that you love them. Yeah, so basically, uh, and the reason, like, I'm glad you brought this up. I had a friend who uh, was my friend and I considered her a very good friend. I wouldn't say super close, but I would say good. Um, so she had, so there is, I'm going to call it a incident and it will be called the chain tag incident. Um, things happened. Uh, she didn't exactly like how I approached it. She didn't say anything to me until like a night or so afterwards. She didn't say anything to me until like a night afterwards on, hey, this wasn't okay. I don't know what you want to do about it. I feel uncomfortable about it. I don't want this to ruin us. I said, okay, gave her, uh, gave her a plan on what I will do next time, which was next time I will wear something more appropriate than what I wore that at that time because she felt I was inappropriate for whatever setting it was the situation it, it was hot outside I didn't feel comfortable wearing just a hoodie and um, the only other choice I had was to put on the hoodie and to like deal with the heat and basically almost pass out wasn't comfortable with doing that, so I just kept it off for as long as they held us hostage outside. Yeah. 
And with that being said, I also want to bring up another important factor. Bad friends. Now, if you can identify what a bad friend is, like, by all means, if you want to hold on to it and, like, see if y'all can make it work and hash it out and see if, like, I can come to some common ground, do that. But if it seems like there is no give, if this is just a one-way street and, like, there's more take than there is, you know, giving out, it's time to break ties. Like, it's hard to do. Believe me, it is hard to do. Like, I've had friends for many years, but they were going down paths and, like, doing things that I just couldn't, I couldn't allow and I couldn't follow. And, like, I tried talking to them about it, but, like, it, they were just so set in their ways that I, I had to walk away. And it was, it was hard. It was painful. Yeah, with that being said, my, uh, my longtime friend, who I appreciate very much for sitting there and dealing with me for when I wanted to do stupid stuff, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for dealing with me and dealing with my butt because I decided to do the things I decided to do. Um, also, thank you for not saying, okay, you're going off somewhere, I'm not going to see you again. We're cutting off the friendship. So, thank you for making it work with me. Thank you for cooperating with me. I'm sorry, sometimes I don't always talk to you. I know we need to talk more. I'm sorry. I do take responsibility for that. I also, yes, I do take responsibility for certain things that happen that are probably one night in my control, but yeah, I still care. Just know, I still care. And same goes for the person who doesn't like me anymore. I still care. I care enough to not hurt you in a way where like, if you do threaten my life at the end and I know something that you don't or you know something that I don't and you haven't made it clear to me that I have done something and you just say I'm playing games, I do not understand what in that correlation I had done wrong. I haven't said anything about you other than good things, so I don't know if that's bad in your eyes, but okay. So yeah, um, but yeah, that that was pretty much the just or more the overview of what we want to talk about today. Like by no means are we um, trying to sound profound or you know give like advice that you should seriously take to heart. Heart like take it with a grain of salt, really. Like if you feel like we didn't discuss the subject properly, or if you feel as though we hit like some spots where you need to work on it or you don't need to work on it so on and so forth it, it doesn't really matter but the point is i we wanted to make this video because it was a subject that like we really care about we share some of our personal stories we share some of our opinions on the uh, on the subject but yeah so that, that that's really it so yeah you you, you know my my outro right yeah yeah you, know, you, know, you want to try it again yeah. all right Right. Okay, apparently we're going to try the outro now. We're, we're going to try the outro. Alright, so, I'll throw you ready? <laughs> okay. okay. We're going to do it until next time. Okay. You know Joey. Alright. Alright, so. One, two, three. So, until, <laughs> until next time, time you know the drill. drill. We are the next generation. generation. So, come and join the O2 generation. generation. That, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, bye! bye.